Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to episode I forgot the number of my rainy day skyblock let's play. That's right. This is on my server, rainyday.gg, that you can play along with me and uh, how many other people? And 544 other people at the moment, and it's 10.45 a.m. on a Friday morning, so not a very peak time. Uh, yesterday we had over 600 people on. I guess Windows had other ideas for my video, but yes, this is my server, rainyday.gg, and you can play it on both Java and Bedrock Minecraft. Any version of Minecraft that you have on any device will work. All you've got to do is join using the IP down in the top pinned comment in the description below. So I think this is episode seven, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I didn't look at the episode numbers before we started. I'm pretty sure it's it's either... Hold on. Okay, I'm going to go on my phone. I know I'm a, I'm a bad content creator. I should just, you know, know this. Yes, we're on episode seven, which is fitting because today is the uh, seventh day of the server being open. So it launched last Friday. So it's still very early in the season. You still have more than enough time to get started. Okay, so in between episodes, I learned a lot of things. I talked with a ton of people and some voice calls from the community, so thank you guys for helping me out. And also, thank you guys for all your information in the comments. I do read every single comment on this series, and I will leave a heart on your comment when I read it. Um, I get to all of them, I promise, and you, m most of you watching that have left a comment have seen that, because I hearted your comment. But yes, apparently, knowledge is power. Okay, and I'm going to share why I'm saying that in just a moment. So first of all, you can plant trees on moss. What am I doing with this dirt? This could be used for our wheat farm, but no, I didn't know that. I just, I just legitimately had no idea. So I was a goofball and, uh, you know, we're going to take all this up. Now we'll just replace it with moss, which is fine. But I was like, man, I need a lot more moss. And then I went over to my cobblestone generator here, you know, to, to get some stuff. And I was like, man, this is going so slow. So I figured out that there's people with open enchant tables, right? So look at these enchanted tools. Now, normally I don't want to do these things off camera, but I was so excited. So we'll, we'll go enchant something when we get 30 levels again. But look at this, dude. We have enchanted tools. We have fortune three right here. And these are iron still, but they're, they're enchanted. So I found an island that has an open enchant table. So if you guys go on auction house, you can buy some lapis, which is not really that expensive. You can see I don't have any money anymore because I, I spent it, but you can get lapis for pretty cheap and uh, you can just do slash is visit uh, big easy four, four, five, one. I feel bad because their island's going to blow up with the amount of people on here. Um, but yeah, I just ran right over here. And I, uh, you know, I put my tool in there and then I put the lapis and I enchanted a bunch of iron pickaxes because I needed stuff to generate some more moss. Also, you guys don't have to type in IS, IS space visit. You can just now do slash visit. So if you guys want to come visit my island, just do visit the Neo Cubist, just like that. Again, just slash visit the Neo Cubist. Feels weird saying that. I feel like I have to say IS visit, but yes, that is the username. If you want to copy that, if they're offline, you can still teleport to their island. And uh, feel free to use their enchantment table. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, th there's other islands that have it, but that's one of them that I know. So make bigger wheat farm with dirt from trees, make moss tree farm. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I kind of messed up. You know, I thought that you had to plant trees on dirt, and it turns out you don't have to do that. You really, really do not have to do that. And so I was trying to get a bunch of diorite and andesite. That's why I was mining. Apparently, we have copper blocks now, which is cool. Um, I'm gonna keep most of the iron I get. We'll, we'll sell like a little bit. Uh, we'll definitely sell all this stuff. We have an iron to stack in there. But I'm just grabbing all this stuff out because I want to bring this up to the top so we can make some moss. Also bought a stack of bone blocks for 900 bucks. So that's a lot of bone meal that we don't have to get ourselves, which is nice. Um, but this farm is, is good. It looks good and it was good to start with. But at this point, it's kind of out of date. It's a little tiny and uh, we need to... Uh, we need to go bigger. That's that's the message here. We need to go bigger. But knowledge is power. If you just talk with people on the server, you're going to learn a lot of stuff. Because I did not know that I could make trees on moss. I just had no idea. Let's sell all this stuff, see what we can get. Probably a pretty penny. It's a lot of stuff. Oh, not the chicken. Yeah, so that was 182 bucks, which doesn't sound like a lot. But it is a lot for this server, for sure. Uh, we'll leave a little bit in here. Um, and there's also a way you can get dirt way quicker, like way quicker. Apparently, so there's spruce trees, and when you get those, you can pods all them, or, or, or sorry, you can grow them, and they make, they make, uh, hold on, let me show you. So we're going to go in auction house. I hope I have enough money. Um, okay, so there's some spruce saplings right there for a hundred bucks. I'm going to buy those. Okay, there we go. 
And then I'm just gonna plant them on moss, I assume. But yeah, like 64 bone blocks is absolutely crazy. And I don't know how big of an area... Do we sell our iron and we don't have a pickaxe with us? Wait, yes we do. We do have a pickaxe with us. Uh, sure, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're gonna break out like a four by four area, or sorry, two by two, so four blocks total. And we're gonna grow the big spruce tree. Let's see, uh, okay, it, <laughs> it didn't It didn't do what I thought. I thought it was gonna spread pods all. It makes four blocks under there, but I thought it would spread more. But I guess you're making moss into uh, four pieces. So you're, you're just doing it a little bit quicker. And in my opinion, this is a lot easier to do than the other trees anyways, but we're not getting our, our masteries up. So we did mine, I did mine those trees quite a few times, um, but we need 4,000 to get to advanced, uh, which is birch. So we're like one fourth of the way there, but to be fair, I only did it maybe an hour and a half, two hours. So we still got a long ways to go with that. I thought it would spread the pods all out more, but I think it only does that if it's, wait. If it transformed the moss into pods all, maybe you make a big field of moss. That's what I was told. And for some reason, I just completely forgot that until now. So it's like mining a jungle tree. If you just make a nice big like staircase upwards, and then you can just look at one block. You don't even have to move on the way down. I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty cool. I'm excited to get to, uh, to, to these trees. These are spruce. And if we go into the studies, what is after? Oh, it's spruce. It's after birch. Cool. So I really kind of want to focus on tree farming. I love tree farming. I think it's fun. And uh, I'm, I'm going to hate it whenever we get to mangrove, but it's okay. It'll be okay. Uh, I, I guess, you know, if there, unless there's something good in mangrove, I don't even necessarily know if we have to do mangrove. Wait, what's the order here? Yeah, mangrove is the last one, so I don't, I don't know. But yeah, there's a whole lot, there's whole other environments that have f they're just absolutely full of stuff. And that uh, current requirement multiplier goes down 1x but for each week. So we'll get there. Uh, we just got a lot of grinding ahead of us, but we will get there. So I'm going to break this all the way down, and then I'm going to make a big field of moss. And that should spread the pods all out, I think. At least I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yes, unless you have silk touch when you mine this, it just becomes dirt. So that's four pieces of dirt right there. So I'll break out this whole area. I don't know how big the pods all can spread, but it's kind of nice to know that this is kind of a... Also, did we, did we get four sap? We did get four saplings. Hey, look at that. So this is the current meta to get dirt, I think, is just by using pods all, uh, pods all farms. I don't know what to call them. But yeah, let me break this out real quick. Come right back. It is nice having uh, efficiency four, though, I will say. And there's probably also a way for us to make sure the trees don't grow too big. Uh, whether that's putting blocks above them or not, I'm not sure. Um, and I don't know what the height would be. But if you don't want to end up breaking like a huge spruce tree because you're trying to like, you know, min-max this, then that might be a way uh, to uh, increase your efficiency here. But for me, I don't mind it. You know, we could just, I, I don't even know, can we even sell the spruce wood when we don't have it unlocked? No, we can't. So we could use it for building or whatever. I mean, it looks good. Um, but we do have a lot of oak wood already on here, so it might not mix super well. Okay, I'm very curious, how big exactly of a pods all area? And what's kind of the center here? I think it's around here. How big of an area? Wow, that's so much dirt. Oh, dude, that is so much dirt. Like, that is so much dirt. Dude, we can actually, like, build a big farm today. Oh, that makes me so happy. Dude, that makes me so happy. So l let me look on my uh, my study for the uh, crops. How are we doing on that? So we're at apprentice, almost a proficient. Okay. So that'll that'll go by way way quicker when you have a big field of crops, like way way quicker. Well, I know what I'm going to be spending my time doing. That's for sure. So I'm gonna get as much dirt as we possibly can. Which, what are people selling dirt for on the auction house now? 700 a stack. Wow. Okay. Dude, I really like the way the economy is developing on here, and I think the players do too. Like, so far, people are really, really loving Rainy Day, and I've been really, really loving it, and that makes me really happy because that means we spent a year making something people want to play, which is good. Um, so I guess I could make this area even bigger, but I just, I, like, I don't know how big of a moss area I need to build, and I don't want to break out this because we're using this for generating moss too. Hmm. I think it'll be okay. It should be fine. It does It does use a lot of moss every time, though. So we may not be able to do it for too long until we have to make more moss, if that makes sense. What am I doing? 
Um, you know what I could do? We don't have 30 levels yet, but we probably could go get 30 levels from mining. Oh, wait, no. I already voted today. Maybe I get some XP from here. Make sure you guys are doing slash vote if you want to get free cloud coins and then these spins every day. 150 sky dust. Okay, I'll take it. But it's not what I wanted exactly. We have 5,000 sky dust now, by the way. Ooh, that's going to be nice when PvP comes out soon. Okay, anything else? Anything else? Oh, that's also good for grinding mobs. Cool. It's especially helpful when you don't have iron unlocked. But yes, let me mine these trees. Um, I'm probably going to generate some moss after this. So just stuff you guys have already seen me do. Uh, but we'll come back and see how much. I mean, we already have over a stack of dirt. Yes, dude, that makes me so happy. I like how I say I'll always be back after something, but dude, look at this. We got 10 saplings now. So we've actually made a big profit. We started with four and we bought those, you know, for a good price. I'd say a very fair price. And now look, we're like balling, dude. We got 10. So I'm going to convert this thing, I guess, pretty quickly to be a moss generator just for a bit. Because like I said, I mean, we're going to run out of moss pretty quick. I'm not going to make the moss into bone meal anymore. Um... We'll save that for all the extra seeds that we're bound to get with a larger wheat farm. And someone told me that the goal is kind of to get sugarcane. And I believe them because sugarcane is a really, really good crop to farm. Um, so I'm going to work toward that, I guess. Um, but yeah, all the metas are competitive. Like you can do everything and, and the prices are changing constantly because of, you know, what players are selling and stuff like that. There's just a lot. There's a lot of depth to this server that uh, I think people are starting to experience. And things are starting to... Uh, you know, the economy is starting to mature and uh, people are starting to kind of understand the way things are going to work here. And I think people, I think people are really enjoying it. I know I am and I hope you guys are too. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this for a little bit. Obviously, you've seen me do it a hundred times. So, Oh, also knowledge is power. You can make, hold on. You can make these into the trees. Let me break all these things around here because I'm messing it up. You don't, you don't even need the flowering ones. <laughs> Thank you guys for, for those of you in the comments who are telling me that. Because I legitimately had no idea that that was the case. I was trying to get the flowering ones. We could have had so much more dirt so much earlier if I only knew the game better. But, you know, to be fair, I don't think dirt farming mechanics are really something that you focus on. But, like, I had no idea. I, I legitimately, I just, I just had no idea. So that's really nice to know. But it would have been nice to know a little bit earlier, that's for sure. But yeah, you can just grow them from those. So, you know, these could all could have all been trees. We probably used a stack doing all that, which it's not bad. But I just think it's funny that I, I like concoct these things in my head, and I don't realize that the problems could be solved so easily. And I ran out of iron. Okay, well I got to go back down. But going back down is nice. You just heat yourself off the side, and you land on a nice little platform. Uh, there's no fall damage, because fall damage is boring. Why have fall damage? You know what I mean? I remember when I was watching, there's this game I used to play a lot when I was younger called Borderlands 2. And I remember watching the developers talking about it. And people were like, why is there no fall damage in your game? And one of the, the lead dev was like, is fall damage fun? And they're like, I mean, not really. They're like, then why would we add it? <laughs> so I think that's why we don't have fall damage, because it's not fun. All right, well, I've been doing this for like 10 minutes. So not like a super long time. Um, but you can see we came up with quite a bit of moss. So this is all the moss. I always want to keep like a little stack of moss in there in case something bad happens and uh, we run out of moss. Um, we can just keep this for crafting. It, honestly, it'll be fine. Um, I don't really particularly need the armor on me right now, so we'll just keep it over there. Uh, but yes, I think that <laughs> I think this is a very good way to get moss. I mean, obviously, we have almost an entire inventory. Well, we, have, we have like a half an inventory of moss, and we'll make this all into pods all. So yeah, let me uh, get to doing that, and I'll just get a bunch. We'll see how much we end up with, but should be a lot of dirt. I mean, we already have, what, one and a half stacks from two trees? Pretty good. Might even try to do it on a bigger area. Is there bigger? Is this bigger down there, really? I mean, it's about the same width. Hmm... Because I am curious, like, how, how far does it spread? Like, I really don't know. Let's grow one more on camera and see. Because maybe that was a fluke and that it's, like, really rare. Kind of like it is for the, uh, you know, moss when you spread it to the stone. Maybe it's kind of like that for the pods. I, I, I bet it uses the same formula or a modified modified version of it. I would assume, at least. But I, I don't know. It would, it would be kind of weird for them to make a whole new formula for 
spread on growth. So we'll see. I bet they're different values, but should be about the same. Okay, so four of these bad boys. We'll just keep all of them with us. Okay. Wow, yeah, see, it seems like it's a lot bigger, right? Because this, this looks like it would have been, like, huge. I remember growing these when... See, I like these little short ones. I remember growing these when it was, like, uh, you know, somewhat new. And I, and I would grow one of these, and it would just, like, ruin all my grass, you know? And you had to go back in and replace it with dirt. I think what I'm going to do also is I'm going to go up above here, above this tree real quick. And I'm going to see if I can, like make it smaller through the power of science aka putting blocks above it it would be nice if they were this short every time especially since my goal isn't like you know getting a bunch of spruce wood it's getting a bunch of pods all so let's go up here um and let's see like how much height see like i i, I don't know the math behind it that's the problem but i would assume that it's like you know maybe it'll grow like, if there's this much above it, something like that. And I don't know how big of an area you have to do this. We'll remove this, of course. We're not going to leave this here. Like, no, no, no. We're not going to leave this here. But I'm at least going to put this here. And this may make it not work at all. I don't know. Uh, but I would be very surprised if it wouldn't work at all. Because this is, like, three blocks above it or two blocks above it. Okay, I think it was this one. Yes. Okay put this down here and now we can mine the tree regularly i'll come back whenever i have this tree uh broken and we're gonna find out together if this will still work dude i've gotten so many set i came up here with this like pillar right to try to you know break these so that we wouldn't lose any because this is one of those spruce trees where you get a lot of saplings we started with four right like we started with four and now we have 34 <laughs> so i think that's pretty good so if we grow it in about the same spot, which is somewhere around here, but I guess I need to break all this before. I mean, I almost want to go and enchant this and see if we can get some, some faster breaking. You know what? You know what? I don't know where I put my lapis, but let's go get it. Let's go make ourselves a nice fresh iron shovel. We don't have 30 levels, but at least we can enchant it a little bit. And maybe it won't be so dang slow. Um, so let's make a fresh one. Smelted a bunch of iron I mined in here. And get one of these bad boys. I don't know. Did I, put the, did I put the lapis in here? I did. Okay. And then we're going to do visit big easy. I'm curious after the video how many people <laughs> are going to join their island. It should, uh, it should be interesting though. So again, it's not going to be a full level 30, but I will take that any day of the week. That is absolutely incredible. Okay. <laughs> now, I suppose we could we could make another one. And then see what that gives us. Efficiency two. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to push my luck. Let's go back to the island. Let's go find out how quick this one works, though. Efficiency three on breaking three is pretty good. Especially for a really low level enchant like we did. But yeah, there's going to be some big changes to the island today. Some big changes. Oh, it's insta break. Oh, I love you. Oh, it's so fast. Dude. And that's all free dirt that we're getting. Like, that's all free dirt. That's 50 bucks a piece, right? Like I said, if you want to buy your dirt from the shop, be my guest. Okay, you could buy 64 dirt for $3,200. Or you can do the uh, method that most people on the server have been doing for a long time that I just learned about. Or you could do that one. <laughs> I, th to be fair, there was a delay in me looking at the comments. And I also learned this inside one of the voice calls. I, I join the voice calls pretty often. If you guys want to join and uh, speak with me, you can. You just got to join the Discord, which is also in the top pinned comment and the description below. It's just discord.gg slash rainy day. Um, so I think this would be... Yes, yeah, so this is like right in the middle. Will this still grow? Yes, it will still grow. And it's going to be a short one every time. But yeah, obviously this is like too small of an area, but it's more than enough dirt for me. But like, right, you could definitely make this even bigger. Um, but I think for our purposes, maybe not. Also, why, why, why not do this? I'm going to go back to their island. Thank you, by the way, Big Easy. Please don't kill rabbits. Need kills to long spawn. If you guys come here and you kill their rabbits, I'll be very angry with you. Don't do it. They need them. They need them. Okay. So be respectful. If you're here to use the enchant table... Be respectful, please. 
Uh, efficiency too. That's not the best. I'm hoping I can get a little bit better. But again, like I like what I got on the shovel was super rare. I'll take efficiency too. I'm breaking too. Uh, that's perfectly fine. Okay, back to the island. And I gotta climb the ladder again. Man, I can't wait to get fly. Make sure you're voting and you can get fly. All right. Let's test out this efficiency two unbreaking two bad mamba jamba right here. Oh yeah. It's like base level diamond speed, but that's still so good. We're not gonna be getting diamond for a long time. That's what I said in the trailer. Hey, hey, I wasn't lying, was I? Okay, well, I'm gonna do this a bunch of times. We're gonna get hopefully a ton of saplings and a ton of dirt. I mean, look at all the dirt we already have, man. Almost three stacks of dirt. Oh, this is so awesome. I was so worried we wouldn't be able to do any big farms for a while, but it looks like we're gonna be doing them sooner than I thought. Okay, so I think this is the kind of tree that gives you the maximum amount of dirt. Cause look at that, dude. Look how thick the leaves are at the bottom. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna get, a uh, sorry, not dirt, the maximum amount of saplings. I think you guys know what I was trying to get at there, but look at this, dude. It's like a super, super thick canopy at the bottom. This is like, that's like the most beautiful big spruce tree I've ever seen. Let's just take a moment. Wow. Okay, well, I'll definitely continue doing this. Just not right now because I, we, we just don't, we, we, I don't think we need much more dirt at the moment. I don't think we have enough seeds to fulfill our needs. Actually, I think we do have enough seeds. I don't know. We'll find out in a second here. Um, I also feel like I don't need this sign, but I don't want to keep leaving stuff up here that I don't need. So let's let's take some of this stuff down. Um, I also feel like I have enough saplings now where I can just like let the less the rest of the leaves decay. I mean, we literally 10x our saplings while we were up here, and I think we'll continue to do that. We're gonna leave the dirt up there, but I am gonna take away all of this because we don't need this anymore. We don't we don't have to use dirt. We can use moss, and we put up all of our moss. So we'll have to go back up there. But it's okay. So yeah, we'll just... Feels kind of weird to break what we just built, but... There we go. Tree farm has been disassembled. Now how much do we have, dirt-wise? Probably quite a bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got... We, we got just a little bit of dirt. Just a little bit of dirt. That's for sure. Um, so this kind of sucks, but like I said, when we do IS upgrade, eventually we'll be able to get our island big enough where we can remove it. Um, we might have to remove it just for the thumbnail. Yeah, because the thumbnail is going to look a little goofy with that there. Okay, well, anyways, while it's dark, since I don't want to record too much when it's dark, I'm going to go up there and grab the moss that we need. Actually, wait. No, we don't need to grab the moss, but we do need to take away all of this because this is not going to be our farm anymore. I don't know what we'll make this into, but it's not our farm anymore. So this will be kind of satisfying. Why is this slow? Oh, I guess tilled dirt isn't an instant break. It's kind of weird how stuff like that works, but they, apparently the break time is a little bit different. That is satisfying. That, not so much. But yeah, we don't we don't need this farm. I mean, this has been here from the beginning. It feels kind of bad to break it, but we just don't need it. We'll have another floor for other things, but what they will be, I'm not really sure. But yeah, now, now that we're starting to get enchanted tools, one thing I did realize is that the current mine that we have, I need to make a better one, I think, because uh, there's this kind that you can mine diagonally with, but I don't know how to make that. But like, at least with this one right here, watch this. You see, we get to the end, and we could probably break another block. So I think I need to build one of the old T-style generators, if you guys remember what I'm talking about, that are, like, shaped like a T. And then you, like, stand here and break, or you stand on the other side and break. Those are the ones, like, on Neo Network that people used a lot. And I think we might need to build one of those, especially now that we have enchanted tools. And we'll probably continue to get enchanted tools. Um, can we not pick up? Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Our inventory really is pretty full. If we're starting to get to that point, I guess... What is the least valuable thing in here? Probably five of that. I don't even remember. Okay, what is this again? Diorite. Five diorite. I don't know why, but I've, I never learned the new... The, I just never learned them. So we're going to replace all of this with dirt, which should be pretty fun. Um, of course, we'll have to, you know, saturate it up a little bit. But uh, we'll save that for later. So I'll come back when I fill this entire thing with dirt. I don't know if we have enough. But we should have a pretty good amount, I think. We'll find out. 
Okay, so we didn't have enough to fill it, but at least we had enough to make it even over here and over here. So maybe we'll do like a tree farm over on this side. <laughs> In hindsight, we probably should have done that with it. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but yes, I, 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 I don't know. Maybe we'll fill this whole thing up eventually, but like for now, that's not going to happen. So let's take these bad boys. And I need to organize this inventory a little bit. I'm not really keeping the wheat. We don't really need it. Uh, we don't need those two things either or that. So we'll sell all that. Stack this up. Throw this in a chest. Uh, hanging roots. I guess we'll put in there. And then seeds. Where? 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 Where are all the seeds? Did I make those all into bone meal yesterday? I think I made them all in a bone. Did I really do that to myself? Did I really do that to myself? I mean, obviously I did, right? They're they're not they're not well, they're not here. Why did I do that? I even saved them throughout the entire time we've been playing because I was like, man, we're really gonna need these when we build a big wheat farm. I think when I did it yesterday, if I I think I remember, I guess I did it yesterday, but I. I feel like I remember saying, like, I'm going to regret doing this very soon. Hmm. Is it up here, maybe? Oh, there's still a sapling. See, that's what's nice about this server, man. It's like a normal Minecraft world just on a server because we just got three more saplings. Yep, we used all our seeds for... Yeah. No? Oh, so. Okay, well. <laughs> that makes this a little bit more difficult, but it's okay. We won't be able to fill it all in in this episode, but at least we'll be able to start it and then in between episodes work on it. Okay, and then we're obviously going to need probably at least three hoes. At least three. I don't know how often... I guess tilling is one durability. Also, how wide is this thing? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Well, that means that in the corner we can do one, two, three, four, boom. And this will be one, two, three. Nice. Now, honestly, we, we can't go evenly, so we'll do one, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, and then break. Okay, so I'm going to fill all of these in, and then I will come back when I'm done. I'll try to do it as efficiently as I can. I think this one was three diagonal from the corner. Yeah, it was just three diagonal. So we can actually end up with a lot of spaces to grow crops, which is honestly ideal. Oh, I don't know why I pressed, I pressed the wrong button. I didn't even stop recording. You know when you get in one of those rhythms? Let's see if I can get it on the camera. So I'm just going like back and forth. I got the torches in my offhand. Oh, well, that tree messed me up. And I have a... Uh, I have this revelation. I'm like, I need torches. And then they just come down automatically just because, you know, I, I put a little mud brick. A little bit of mud brick there. There we go. Now it's all tilled. I feel like we're making such good progress. I feel like this is where we were on, like, the second episode on uh, Neo Network. But now that we actually have, like, something, you know, some content to go through, we actually have, like, a, a grind. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I almost didn't make that. I'm going to plant these kind of like sporadically because I think they grow quicker when they're not around other seeds. It's something like that. And the reason I'm doing this, not to make you guys, you know, be annoyed with me because it's not a solid field, but I don't have enough to fill this in. And uh, it'll if it grows more quickly like this, then we hopefully will have enough to fill it in, at least by, you know, next episode for sure. When you come back, it'll probably be filled in. I mean, that's just what I've been doing in between episodes. It's just like grinding and, uh, you know, apparently getting some enchanted tools. I'm sorry, but I got excited because I was, you know, trying to get some andesite quickly for the episode and I really needed them. This actually ended up working out. I think we might have a little bit extra seeds. We'll have to go back through a little bit and do this a little bit more. Yeah, but I think for the most part, yeah, look at that, dude. I'll just like walk around and do this. I'm sure we'll we'll run out by the time we get to the other side of the horseshoe. I don't even know what to call it, honestly. So I might go get a little bit more dirt because I feel like it's weird if I don't fill in at least... Mm, it's almost like it's not super weird. We could do something like this on the side. Then maybe have like a one block gap until we get to the, uh, to the tree farm if we do end up doing that over here, which I think we honestly should. It would be kind of strange to not do it over here. Yeah, so we'll we'll go ahead and build the same sort of thing. Just out of moss. Just like we built yesterday, but just out of moss. Um, also, on these sides, uh, which I'm going to need a little bit more of these slabs. On these sides that have the paths, I'm just going to put a slab. I've decided. There we go. 
Yo, dude, it's kind of turning out. Everything's everything's working out now. I almost feel like I want to make one over here, but there's two chests here with nothing in them. There's, yeah, there's two chests here with literally nothing in them. Uh, it'll be okay. Maybe, maybe we'll move it in the future, but at least for right now, it should be okay. And I'm not gonna plant trees here, not yet. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna wait a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm gonna finish filling this in. Sorry, I got distracted. Well, guys, it's that time again. The sun has set. Oh, I looked the wrong way. The sun has set on the Neo Island of Paradise and Dreams and other stuff that's good. But yeah, we made a lot of progress. We also figured out a good way to get a lot of dirt, so we can do that in between episodes. Maybe we'll come back and uh, I'll have a double chest of dirt. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching episode 7. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you guys would like to be in the end of one of my videos, all you gotta do is be on the server and I'll send a message out when I end the video and you can just do IS or just slash visit the Neocubist. So I'm going to uh, say, everyone come say good, oh, goodbye to today's, today's episode. I don't know why I can't type, uh, slash IS visit the, oh, I typed IS, whatever. It's okay. Mr. Scout just made the command. He watched the video and he was like, dude, just do slash visit. I'm like, ooh, okay. I just visit the New Cubist. Okay. Secret code for today's episode is going to be 8903. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me to watch the entirety of today's video. Go video. Jeez. Again, it's 8903. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked permissions. I got to I gotta enable visitors. <laughs> I forgot to enable them. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Now people can join. That's so many people. That's so many. I just opened it. I just opened it. Oh no, people are dying. I probably should open these to be fair. Guess we can mine those down with our new efficiency pickaxe. Go ahead and open those bad boys up. Okay, can we close the- Oh, people are swimming in it! That's- You can't swim in the Kraken, man. The Kraken's gonna get you. Yeah, thank you guys for seriously the, the, the support on rainy day has been absolutely out of this world There's 560 people on currently 11:42 a.m. On a Friday, so thank you guys you guys really do make my day especially when y'all come say goodbye to me um, There's just a there's just a lot of you and it makes me really happy that you guys haven't en have enjoyed being here It's crazy absolutely crazy oh no we're lagging we're lagging a little bit okay i gotta tell him to go home and end the episode thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one bye oh no okay well they started again <laughs> they started hitting me again they must really hate me right oh my gosh it's crazy